training for a toxic attack in London four years ago. It hasn't happened yet, it may never happen, but experts now believe terrorists are twice as likely to set off an RDD, a radiation dispersal device or dirty bomb, than either a chemical or biological one. An RDD is radioactive material wrapped around explosives. Left unchecked, its after effects could contaminate whole streets. The British government uh, are getting increasingly worried about the occurrence of uh, an RDD. Uh, we have had a long history of be, uh, getting prepared for this. There has been a lot of research work in this, but it has started to escalate um, over recent months. Over in America, scientists at the Argonne Nuclear Laboratories are working on countermeasures and then sharing them with Britain. Here they showed us the Isotron spray. It's a liquid polymer gel designed to trap harmful radioactive particles and stop them from spreading. This is what scientists call a lockdown. It's one of the latest methods being developed here in the US to try to contain the effects of a radiological dirty bomb. Now, since Western governments think it's increasingly likely that terrorists may try to detonate such a device, either in the US or in Europe, they're working on ways to try and contain the spread of any radioactive contamination. What we're doing here is actually decontaminating the surface. So you can see the the surface contamination is actually coming off as we peel the coating fr from the, the concrete. Uh, and it's trapped in, in this coating, so it's not going to re-aerosolize, or it's not going to present a hazard to the, the uh, responders who are actually doing the decontamination operation. This device mm. is a handheld portable device that you put up to the face of the individual victim and determine if he has been exposed to chemical toxins or low-level radiation. The ocular scanner is one of the latest prototypes sponsored by the Department of Defense. Once the test is complete, the user sees no toxins indicated. And this is the personal dosimeter, which also shows any exposure to radiation. As a precaution, similar devices have already been issued to ambulance trusts in Britain. Well, you know, this is one of our low-tech solutions. This has no moving parts, no on-off switch, no battery. You'd carry this like you would your driver's license or an ID card. In situations where there's high levels of radiation, this central rectangle would darken and turn shades of blue. The blue squares on here can be used as a reference to estimate what the radiation levels are. The deeper the color, the more radiation there is. It allows him, in a sense, to see the invisible threat of radiation. If we're in a shopping mall, and a bomb goes off. If you are injured, you know it. It's obvious. You're bleeding, you have shrapnel. If it's a radiation dispersal device that goes off in a mall, you may have received a lethal dose, but you don't know. You have no idea what you've been exposed to unless you're properly prepared in advance. And the technologies that we have developed and we're showing you today will help reduce the panic, increase the peace of mind, and help with the cleanup. After the lockdown comes decontamination. This is the Argonne superabsorbent gel. It literally sucks radioactive dust out of a building where it's permeated the concrete. A wet vacuum then removes it and it's disposed of as hazardous waste. It may still be days or weeks before a building can be reoccupied, but, say the scientists, that's now a vast improvement on waiting months or even years. Frank Gardner, BBC News, near Chicago, Illinois.